हेलो वेलकम टू अरविंद सिंह अकेडमी कैसे बच्चों टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट बायनोमियल थ्योरम एंड दिस इज अ वेरी फर्स्ट लेक्चर इन बायनोमियल थ्योरम सो इट इज अ बिगिनिंग एंड वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज बायनोमियल थ्योरम एंड व्हाई दिस इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर एनी इंटीग्रल नंबर ऑफ एक्स और फॉर एनी इंडेक्स व्हेदर इट इज पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव or uh, for rational index also so we will discuss all those things uh, which is required uh, for in binomial theorem which you, you need to understand so let us start uh, today about uh, this binomial theorem so binomial theorem the topic is binomial theorem right what is this binomial theorem so you can understood uh, by some examples i can write here let me start from here only if you have x plus y to the power 1 you can write it x plus y isn't it and if you have x plus y whole square then you usually you have done in class 6 that you can write x square plus 2xy plus y square again if you have x plus y whole cube then you can write it x cube Plus three x square y plus three x y square plus y cube. Yet that further can be written as all these things can be written as here. This can be written as one c zero x to the power one plus one c one y to the power one. That can be written right because one c zero is one and one c one is also one. Remember. n c zero is one and n c n is also one. So these are the two things which you uh, must be knowing. So that is why I have written n c zero is one. That is one c zero is one. Two c zero is one. Three c zero is one. n c n is one. That is one c one is uh, one. So two c two is also one. Three c three is also one. So like that. Now uh, this one can be written as similarly. This can be written as two c zero h to the power two plus two c one h to the power two minus one y to the power one plus two c two y to the power two. This can be written because two c zero is one and two c one is two. N c one is n. Remember this. And this is n c n like so. This is also one. Similarly, if uh, it is given that uh, this one for this expression, we can write three c zero h to the power three plus three c one h to the power three minus one that is two y to the power one plus three c two h to the power three minus two y to the power two plus three c three y to the power two like that. So three c one is also three and three c two is also. And three c zero is one, three c three is one. So uh, we can write like this. By observing this, uh, we, you can come to this conclusion that power of power of x is our maximum because power is three here. Then here is also power three. Power is two here, so maximum power is there. X to the power two. Then power of x is from three to decrease by one. Then there will be power of two. Here power is one, and power of y is here zero. Then there is a one power. Here is a power two, and then power is three. So power of x is decreasing successively three, two, one, zero. Here is no x means power of x is zero. Power of y is starting from zero, zero, then one, then two, then three. So power of x is decreasing. And power of y is increasing. In this one also, you can see here power of y is zero, and power of y is one here, and power of y is two here. So power of y is increasing, and power of x is decreasing. Okay, this is clear. One thing, this is clear that whenever there is such power, then first one, first term will have maximum power, and then power of x is going to decrease, and power of y is going to increase. This is clear. Now there are some coefficients, and these coefficients are like uh, um, here one, two, one. There is a power one, one. This is one, three, three, one, like that. 
So this further is rearranged in this form in terms of combination. And you have seen here that 3C0, then 3C1, then 3C2, then 3C3. It means this coefficient is increasing 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, isn't it? So coefficients of C is increasing and uh, from uh, starting from 0 to maximum that is 3. Here also power of uh, this is 0, 1 and what is maximum? 2. So that can be written like this. So if someone want to write here that x plus y to the power 4, then what we, we can write? As per this assumption, they can pattern, they can write 4c0 x to the power 4 plus 4c1 x to the power 4 minus 1 that is 3, 4c2 and y is there. 4c2 x to the power 2 and y to the power 2 because y power of y is increasing. Then 4c3 x to the power 1 because from 2 it is decreased to 1 and y to the power 3 and then 4c4 y to the power 4 like that. So this can be written like this. I hope you got it. Power of y is increasing, power of x is decreasing. Further, just for more clarification, I would like to write one more. If x plus y to the power 5, then you can write it 5c0 x to the power 5 plus 5c1 x to the power 4y plus 5c2 x to the power 3y to the power 2 plus 5c4 x to the x 5c3 sorry, this is 5c3 and uh, x to the power 2, y to the power 3, then 5c4, x and y to the power 4, then 5c5, y to the power 5, like that. So, you can write in this way, uh, there is a, for power n, what you can write, this is for 4, for 5, you can write, and similarly, for whenever there is a power n, then what you can write, for power n, that is, so, for any integer, integer n, we can write x plus y to the power n is nothing else but n c0 x to the power n plus n c1 x to the power decreased by 1 y to the power 1 plus n c2 x to the power n minus 2 y to the power 2 like this. So, if uh, you can observe this, if there is power, this is a 2 here, then power is decreased by 2. Right now, we can write some more terms also, uh, just for it. Make it clear, n c 3, then x to the power n minus 3, y to the power 3, and like that. So, you can see that, if there is 2, then power is of x decreased by 2. If this is 3, then power of x is decreased by 3. And same, as much as it decreases here, minus 3, then power of y is 3. Minus 2, then power of y is 2. So, for any term, say n c r, then x to the power n minus r, and same raised by y to the power r. Because it is subtracted by minus r, so y to the power raised as r. And last term is 5 c 5 y to the power 5. So here last term will be n c n y to the power n. Can I write like this? Now you will see that one very important thing, some important uh, observations, some important observations, observations, what about? First one, if you see that clearly, a, uh, if the power is 2, then how many terms are there? There are 3 terms, 1, 2 and 3 terms. If power is 3, then there are 4 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. If power is 4, then there are 5 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Power is 5, then there are 6 terms. Means there are always one more than the number of, one more term than the number of powers. So, if power is n, then there must be n plus 1 terms. So, here we can observe, 
that in expansion of we can write here in expansion of in expansion of x plus y to the power n there are there are n plus 1 terms how many terms n plus 1 always one more than the number of pops the second observation is that in each term degree is same because power is n here only this is my n minus 1 and plus 1 total power is n n minus 2 plus 2 is n n minus r plus r is n so in each term degree of power variable says in each term in each term degree of terms remain constant that is n the power is n n right now the third observations you have is what is the third observation that you can see here if this is 0, then this is first term, 1, then this is second term, 2, then third term, 3, then fourth term, then R must have R plus 1th term. So, R plus 1th term is called general term. This is called general term, right? And that will be N C R X to the power N minus R Y to the power R. N C R x to the power n minus r, y to the power r. This is called r plus 1th term. These are the three observations which you can immediately observe here. And each term has degree n. So, this is very important. So, remember this fact that r plus 1th term can be described as t r plus 1th term is n c r x to the power n minus r, y to the power r. I hope you got it. So, this one is a general term and that is important one. So, you must remember this right now. T n c r x to the power n minus r y to the power r. One uh, more important thing is that here you will find that uh, power is if x plus y is 1 then coefficients are 1 1 then coefficients are 1 2 1 then coefficients are 1 3 3 1. How this will come? This may come through Pascal triangle and another term is I am going to define here that is called Pascal triangle. Pascal's triangle. What is that? Try to understand. In this one, if the x plus y power is 1 1, then 1, then there are two coefficients 1 1. Then when power is 2, then coefficients are 1 2 1. So, if power is 3, then coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. How to get this? You can go ahead in between the sum of these two, that is 2, and supported by 1. Now, 2 plus 1 is 3, so right in between, 2 plus 1 is 3, right in between, and supported by, surrounded by 1. Again, in the similar pattern, if you write it, 3 plus 1 becomes 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and this is 1, 1. Similarly, if I move for uh, further, then 4 plus 6 is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5 and supported by 1. That is the coefficient of a 1 plus x to the power 4, that is coefficient of 1 plus x to the power 5. So, if someone and you can proceed accordingly, there is no problem. So, if someone want to proceed it, and want to write the expansion. Suppose I want to write x plus y to the power 5, then I can write x to the power 5 coefficient is 1, then coefficient is 5 will come, and what is power? x to the power 4 y, then what will be? Coefficient 10, and x to the power 3 y square, then another coefficient is 10 again, so we can write 10 x square y cube, and then another coefficient is 5, that is power of x is decreasing so it will remain 1 and y to the power 4 and finally coefficient is 1 and y to the power increase up to 5. So you can ex write the expansion without using combination even you can do that. 
this is called this rule is called pascal triangle this is a triangle which will form basically this is a shape of triangle that is why this is called pascal triangle and what it comes here that write this one one then sum of these two right in between and surrounded by one two plus one is three two plus one is three surrounded by one three plus one is four and three plus three is six and then three plus one is four surrounded by one one then four plus one is five again here right now and 4 plus 6 is 10 and 4 plus 6 is 10 and 4 plus 1 is 5 and surrounded by 1. So like that this will form a triangle and therefore this rule is called Pascal triangle. So I hope you got this okay. So this is the basic uh, just introduction about the binomial theorem. There is a no need for the theoretical proof but uh, it, it can be proved by principle of mathematical induction but that is not required for a purpose you need to learn only the expansion what is the expansion of x plus 1 to the power n and the same induction process for 1 for 2 for 3 for 4 i have discussed already so i hope you got this you understood it well and uh, you will use it also because proof is nowhere asked right now so uh, this is uh, i think uh, uh, just beginning of concept of binomial theorem. So now the thing is what will happen when power is negative. So if there is a negative power suppose uh, or x is negative then what will happen. So similarly if I can write here expansion is x plus let me write once again x plus y to the power n then expansion is n c 0 x to the power n plus n c 1 x to the power n minus 1 y plus n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 y to the power 2 like that n c n y to the power n. If I want to write expansion for x minus y to the power n then what will happen? Then wherever there is a y there will be minus y. So if I will put here minus y minus y then minus y multiply with this plus is minus so n c1 x to the power n minus 1 into y and here if i put minus y minus y whole square is again the same thing so it will remain positive itself so n c2 x to the power n minus 2 y to the power 2 so wherever power of y is wherever power of y is even the sign will not change it will remain fixed but wherever the power, power of y is odd, then it will be sign will change. So next term, power of y will increase to 3 and 3 is odd number. So it will be negative again. So it will be alternate negative and alternate positive. Right now, alternate negative n say 3 x to the power n minus 3 y to the power 3 like that. And here it will be minus 1 to the power n because minus y to the power n. And it can be written as n c n y to the power n by adding these two if we add them together then what will happen on adding these two the above to these two expansion we have what will happen that will be x plus y to the power n plus x minus y to the power n then what will happen this and this will cancel alternate terms are cancels and this will be double so twice of even power will come n c 0 x to the power n plus n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 y to the power 2 plus n c 4 x to the power n minus 4 y to the power 4 etc this will come right now so whenever you will add them, this will come. And whenever you will subtract them, then what will come? If you will subtract it, then it will come like x plus y to the power n minus x minus y to the power n. Then sign will change in subtraction, sign will change. So all even powers will be cancelled because it will be minus, 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 cancel, plus cancel. And this minus will be plus. So plus plus this will be twice. Here sign will change. It will be minus. So it will be cancelled. So all even powers will cancel. And odd coefficients are left. And that will be twice. So in that case twice of 
एन सी वन एक्स टू दी पावर एन माइनस वन वाई प्लस एन सी थ्री एक्स टू दी पावर एन माइनस थ्री वाई टू दी पावर थ्री प्लस एन सी फाइव एक्स टू दी पावर एन माइनस फाइव वाई टू दी पावर फाइव प्लस 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 लाइक दिस सो वेल एडिंग देयर विल बी ट्वाइस ऑफ इवन कोफिशिएंट्स इवन कोफिशिएंट्स आई एम सेइंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस जीरो टू फोर एंड इफ दे वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टेड देयर इज ट्वाइस ऑफ ऑड कोफिशिएंट्स वन थ्री फाइव विल लेफ्ट सो रिमेंबर दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दिस टू राइट ना so i have make here a star so that you can memorize it okay since we have learned uh, the concept so to apply them how it will be applicable for solving the questions let us solve some questions and that is why we are going to start from this exercise exercise 8.1 right now and let us solve some question the first question expand each of the following expression is given here expand each of the expression each of the expression from in exercise exercise 1 2 5 right so we have to expand each of the expression and the first one is given here That is one minus two x to the power five. So as per definition, we can write here five c zero one to the power five. Isn't it? Then minus five c one because alternate negative sign will be there. Five c one one to the power four into two x to the power one plus five c two one to the power three and two x to the power two plus minus. Alternate negative sign will be there, so there will be minus five c three one to the power two and two x to the power three, isn't it? And then five c four one to the power one and two x to the power four and minus again, this will be plus minus plus minus minus five c five. 2x to the power. Now we can write and expand it. Well, you know, n c r since n c r is equal to since n c r is equal to n factorial upon r factorial n minus r factorial. You can use this formula and solve here. So 5 c 0. You know, uh, you have done so much things in. a combination so definitely you must be knowing so 5c0 is 1 here right now and 1 to the power 5 is 1 minus 5c1 is 5 and 2x into 2x 5c2 is 10 into 1 to the power everything is 1 that is 4x square 2x whole square 5c3 is also 10 and 10 that is 2x whole cube that is 8x cube and then 5c4 is 5 Right, 2x that is 16. 2 to the power 4 is 16x to the power 4. So that will be 5 into 16x to the power 4. And uh, further, it will be minus. This is 5c5 is 1 and 2 to the power 5 is 32x to the power 5. So we can write here using this fact. You will write this expansion there for. We can write here that one minus two x to the power five is equal to what will come? One minus five to the ten x plus forty x square minus eighty x cube plus eighty eighty x four minus thirty two x five. That will be the answer of this question, right? I hope you got it. Now the second question. Let us do second question, and the second question says that two by x minus x by two whole to the power five. You can use binomial coefficients according to Pascal's theorem as well, but let me write in this proper way: five c zero two by x to the power five minus five c one two by x to the power four into x by two plus five c two. 
2 by x to the power 3 into x by 2 whole square. Then it will be minus 5c3 2 by x to the power 2 power is decreasing and x by 2 to the power 3 is increasing plus 5c4 2 by x into x by 2 to the power 4 minus 5c5 x by 2 whole to the power 5. So, further this can be written as what will happen if you want to write it. Uh, therefore, this will come like 1 into 32 by x to the power 5 minus 5 into this is uh, 16 upon x to the power 4 into x by 2 plus 10 into 8 by x cube into x square by 4 minus 10 into 4 upon x square into x cube divided by 8 right now. So this is third term and fourth term will be 5 c 4 5 c 4 is nothing else but 5 into um, this one is x by 2 first one is 5 c 4 2 by x 2 by x into x power 4 by 16 this was 4 plus sign 5 c 4 by there and minus there will be 1 into x to the power 5 by 32 because this absolute now therefore we can write it that 2 by x minus x by 2 whole to the power 5 is equal to what will come. So let me uh, simplify this. This is 32x to the power 5. This cancel this 8 times 8 5 is 40. 1x will cancel here and 4 2 is 8. So 20 will be there and this is 4 2 is 8 and 2 5 is 10. So 5 will be there. So now 32 upon x to the power 5 things will come 32 upon x to the power 5 minus next term watch 8 5 is 40 upon x cube so that will be 40 upon x cube right plus next term is what here 10 to the 20 and x square x cube cancels so only x will be left so 20 upon x 20 upon x next term will be left here 20 upon x minus fourth term will be how much 5 only 5 is left 5 and x square x cube cancels so only x is left so 5x it will remain minus 5x right now so minus 5x and here this will be cancelled 3 times 3 will be power left and this is 8 times so we can write plus 5 by 8 x cube right now and minus x to the power 5 by 32 so that will be answer of this expansion so I hope you got it now part third is third is 2x minus 3 whole to the power 6 that can be written as 6c0 2x to the power 6 minus 6c1 2x to the power 5 into 3 plus 6c2 2x to the power 4 into 3 square plus plus minus plus minus there will be minus sign right now so it will be 6c3 2x to the power 3 and 3 to the power 3 and then there will be 6c4 2x to the power 2 and 3 to the power 4 minus 6 c5 2x and 3 to the power 5 minus plus 6 c6 and this will be 3 to the power 6. So further we can write here that this will come 1 into 2 to the power 6 is 64 x to the power 6 64 x to the power 6 minus 6 into 32 into x to the power 5 into 3 plus 6 c2 is what 6 c2 is 15 15 into 
16x to the power 4 into 9 minus this is 6 is 3 is 20 20 into 2 to the power this is 8x cube into 27 and further it will be 6c4 that is 15 into 4x square into 3 to the power 4 is 81 minus 6c5 is 6 into 2x into 243 plus 1 into 3 to the power 6 is 729 right so what will come uh, finally we can write this uh, 2x to the power 2x therefore 2x minus 3 to the power 6 will come here 64x to the power 6 minus 6 3 is 18 18 to the 18 to the 36 and 18 3 is 54 plus 6 is 60 606 x to the power 5 minus 69 the 144 uh, this is 240 multiplied by 9 is 216 right 216 x to the power 4 because this is 240 and 240 multiply by 9 that is uh, 216 x to the power 4 and this is 28 is 160 and 16 7 ja, what will happen this is positive this will be negative uh, 16 uh, 7 ja, 112 carry 11 and 16 to your 32 and 32 plus 11 is 43 so this x cube and plus this is 13 4 is 16 6 1 is 6 and there will be also 1 0 is there also so 4 3 2 0 x cube and there will be 15 4 is 60 so 0 will be there and 6 multiply by 1 is 6 and 6 is 48 right now so 48 x square minus this will be minus this will be 6 to the 12 12 into 3 36 2 9 1 6 x right and plus this is 729 so whole answer is like this and that will be the answer of this question i hope you got it now question number four question number four is there and fourth question is given here x by three plus one by x x by three plus one by x whole to the power five so again you can write in the similar fashion five c zero x by three to the power five plus 5c1 x by 3 to the power 4 1 by x plus 5c2 x by 3 to the power 3 1 by x whole square plus 5c3 x by 3 to the power 2 1 by x to the power 3 plus 5c4 x by 3 to the power 1 1 by x to the power 4 plus 5c5 1 by x to the power 5. So, the finally it will come like here if you calculate it this will be 1 into x cube by 3 to the power 5 is 243 plus 5 into x to the power 4 upon 81 into 1 by x plus 10 into x cube upon 27 into 1 by x square and uh, then it will be 5c3 is 10 into x square upon 9 into 1 by x cube plus 5 into 5c4 is 5 x by 3 into 1 by x4 and plus 5c5 is 1 into 1 by x to the power 5. So answers can be written as therefore answer can be written as here x by 3 plus 1 by x whole to the power 5 is equal to x cube by 243 plus 5 by 81 x to the power 3 plus 10 by 27 x plus 10 into 
by 9 in into x right now because x square x cube cancel into many x will be left here 5 by 3 x to the power 3 right now and plus 1 by x to the power 5 that will be the answer so i hope you got it now the next one is question number 5 let us see a question number 5 and question number 5 is there uh, which can be solved like x plus 1 by x and whole to the power 6 again if i apply this uh, like pascal triangle then it can be written as x to the power 6 plus 6 right now x to the power 5 divided by x that is x to the power 4 so 1 6 then 15 will come x square then 20 will come then again 15 will come x to the power minus 2 then 6 will come x to the power minus 4 and then uh, 1 will come and x to the power minus 6 so it will be like this you can do that accordingly i have written the answers because power is decreasing two successively and coefficient of 6 is 0 6 is 1 6 is 2 6 is 3 6 is 4 6 is 5 6 is 6 are all 1 6 15 20 15 6 1 you have seen here in pascal triangle isn't it you have seen that coefficients are here only 1 5 if you go for power 6 1 5 plus 1 6 then 15 then 20 then 15 then 6 and 1 so this is what i used here and i have written it directly i hope you got all these things and uh, you will enjoy this uh, if further we will proceed and that will be do in the next lecture till then bye bye god bless and try to revise it once again before uh, watching the second video so we will uh, come back after the break till then bye bye god bless